On February 23rd of this year, my good friend Randall Graham passed away after suffering a massive heart attack. He was 55 years of age. For Randall, this was the end to a long and debilitating struggle with chronic Lyme disease. Now, Randall was well known in the local bushcrafting community, but he was even better known internationally for his expertise in bladesmithing. Randall was a true expert who has likely forgotten more than most aspiring knife makers could ever hope to learn. Randall was famous for his swords and other historical designs, but his personal favorites were the Scandinavian styles, such as Lukus and Pukos. All of Randall's knives were made by hand using very simple tools. Randall's legacy lives on through several knife makers who have benefited from his teachings. Three highly talented local knife makers plus one highly respected leather crafter have gotten together to honor Randall by forging two very special knives. These knives are being raffled off locally to raise funds for Randall's widow Tammy, but I wanted to share them with you as examples of the type of knives Randall made. The first first knife was built by Richard Brown. It is a Pukul style neck knife inspired by the blade that Randall wore around his neck every day. The knife is made from 1086M high carbon steel and has been forged as close as possible to final shape and has a distal taper and V cross section. The steel was gifted to Richard by Randall and was part of a one-time batch made for legendary knife maker Howard Clark. Now, the handle is made from curly maple, which was harvested by Randall. It has been roasted to darken the color and accentuate the grain. The guard is made from brass and then a, a Vulcan liner and then copper, which was reclaimed from copper plumbing. It has been hand textured to give it a really nice look. Now, the sheath is a traditional veg tanned leather with a center seam down the back. It has a wood maple insert, and it has been engraved with the raven Viking flag motif, often favored by Randall himself. So this is just a perfect little neck knife for anyone who uh, likes these styles of knives. Even though I have extra large hands, it still works for me just because of the style of the handle itself. And they go together just perfectly in the sheath. So this next knife was built by Peter LePay and Jamie Harris, with the sheath being built by Al Halliday. So it has been forged from a bar of 5160 spring steel that was gifted to Jamie Harris by Randall himself. The bevels have been hammer forged as close as possible to the final shape. It has a fitted brass guard and pommel. And as you can see, this is one large knife of the loop style favored by Randall. The overall length of this knife is just over 12 and a half inches with the blade coming in at just over seven and a half inches. And what I want to do now is bring up closest to the camera as possible to show you the maker's mark. So that is the maker's mark for Jamie Harris on this side of the knife. And on the other side of the knife is the maker's mark for Peter LePay. So the handle is really something special. Let's just go through it. So as I mentioned, there is a brass guard and pommel, but behind the brass guard is a layer of a black G10, then roasted triple A grade bird's eye maple, also received from Randall. Then there is more G10, and then there is some birch bark sand in between. The center section of the handle is made from walnut, again received by from Randall. Then another layer of G10 and birch bark and G10 again. And finally, more birds off eye maple and the end has peened over on the brass pommel. Now, the sheath was again made by Al Halliday, a very traditional 
leather sheath for this style of knife. It is made from full grain veg tanned leather wet formed around a wooden insert. It has been saddled stitched using waxed nylon thread and hand dyed. It is sealed with locally sourced beeswax and then the sheath and everything all together was uh, given a final coat of leather bomb from hammer threads and this is really a work of art when you go through the detail on this especially or even in addition to the braided leather belt loop and brass dangler just a really really professional high grade piece of artwork and I just want to share this with you when you insert the knife into the sheath and just listen to it land it's almost like sliding it into Kydex, but an even more satisfying sound than you would get with Kydex. And on the leather sheath is Al Halliday's Maker's Mark here. All right, I, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at these two knives that were inspired by the type of knives that Randall Graham used to make. Now, while these two knives are being raffled off to support Tammy, Randall's widow, I, what I would like to do is provide you the contact information for each of these knife makers, Richard Brown, Peter LePay, and Jamie Harris, as well as the leather crafter, Al Halliday, and would encourage you to take a look at their sites to see the types of knives and styles of knives that they have available. If you see something you like, like you may want to get a hold of them and see if you can not commission a piece for yourself. All right, that's all I have for you in this video. I thank you for watching and I encourage you to get outside and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.